Intensity modulated radiation therapy, IMRT, is the use of MLCs to modulate radiation dose at various gantry angles, for example, eight angles to conform around a tumor volume, whereas volumetric arc therapy, or VMAT, an extension of IMRT, delivers dose over 360 degree arcs. So how does IMRT and VMAT for radiation therapy treatment delivery compare? When comparing any radiation therapy treatment technique, we have to consider the fundamentals. What is the purpose of radiation therapy? And that is to radiate the tumour while sparing healthy tissue. Reviewing the literature, it has been revealed that dosimetrically, organ sparing and patient setup are comparable. Both IMRT and VMAT have the same treatment imaging procedures and patient immobilisation, and that is reflected by the clinical practice of the WA Radiation Oncology Departments. However, the major differences between IMRT and VMAT are the monitor units used, each fraction, and the treatment delivery times. In this audio recording, I will compare IMRT and VMAT treatment delivery in respect to patients, RTs, clinical centres, and the healthcare system. Just like a Kelpie is a type of dog, VMAT is a type of IMRT. Therefore, for the purpose of this comparison, I'll compare traditional step and shoot IMRT with VMAT. The differences? One of the major differences between IMRT and VMAT is the treatment delivery time. VMAT has a much faster delivery time compared to an 8 beam IMRT plan, with every additional IMRT beam extending the treatment time further. So, why is treatment delivery time important? Firstly, the comfort of the patient. Say the patient has bony metastases or is overweight and finds the LINAP couch uncomfortable, the faster the treatment delivery time, the greater the patient comfort. Intrafraction motion must also be considered. A study by Kramer 2013 revealed that every additional minute the patient is on the couch, the greater the risk the patient will move or normal physiological processes occur, reducing PTV coverage compromising outcomes, and also making imaging redundant. Shorter treatment times also improves quality of life. It may only be 5 minutes a day shorter for VMAT, but over 30 fractions, that is an additional 2.5 hours of extra free time for the patient to spend with family or time shopping, and that's improving their quality of life. In regards to RTs, a shorter delivery time improves concentration. What I mean by this is if a treatment time takes 30 minutes, RTs may be inclined to eat some chocolate or gossip, meaning they take their eyes off the camera. Furthermore, shorter treatment time allows more patients to be treated in a particular day, allowing the healthcare system to reduce treatment wait lists and for private centres to produce more income. Finally, a, re a review by the Royal Australian and New Zealand College of Radiologists suggests that the faster dose rate of VMAC improved cell death rate for the head and neck lesions, improving outcomes. Another difference between IMRT and VMAT is the monitor units during delivery and dose wash. IMRT requires more monitor units of radiation to deliver the prescribed dose to the PTV. Therefore, in the event of an MLC vault where the leaves don't retract, this may result in accidental overdose. Furthermore, the dose wash of the amount or the amount of healthy tissue being irradiated is great in VMAT, but with less intensity of IMRT. Therefore, for younger patients with a greater risk of developing a secondary malignancy in their lifetime, the appropriate treatment modality must be carefully considered. Another downside of IMRT, with more monitor units delivering per treatment, that reduces the life of the LINAC, which is an expense to the public and private system. VMAT and IMRT have similarities. VMAT is IMRT's little brother, the latest in radiation therapy treatment delivery. However, much has stayed the same. Don't forget VMAT is just an aversion of IMRT. Firstly, patient immobilization remains unchanged. So has many of the imaging protocols, variable depending on the clinical center. Reviewing the literature, studies reveal outcomes, conformity, and heterogeneity are comparable between the two. In conclusion, patients in Perth are fortunate to have access to both VMAT and IMRT. Disregarding the planning, QA and SIM procedures of IMRT and VMAT, how does the treatment delivery alone differ between the two modalities? 
Both have similar organ sparing, conformity, patient setup, and patient immobilization, with imaging remaining comparable or unchanged. The steps and procedures for RTs, from patient setup to beam off on daily treatment, would be considered fairly similar. The greatest difference between BMAT and IMRT is treatment time. BMAT improves patient comfort and care, as well as improving the cost and efficiency of treatment for the clinical centres and the government. As well as VMAT requiring less monitor units per fraction, resulting in improved safety and dose intensity to healthy, healthy tissue. VMAT, however, has a greater overall dose wash, increasing the risk of secondary malignancies, especially for younger patients. With the limited long term studies of the effects of VMAT, because it's quite a new modality, at this stage the modality looks strong and is revolutionising radiation therapy. IMRT, the once master of conformity, is being overtaken by the faster, safer and economical VMAT. Healthcare is driven by money, the delivery of VMAT is faster, more affordable, allowing more patients to be treated. Thank you.